Hey guys, this is Joanne speaking again and welcome to this video. So recently, I've been watching some videos about animators talking about their worst group project experiences ever, whether it was in school, college, or university. And I gotta be honest, I can somehow relate to these people because I myself had a very bad experience with a group project and seeing these people talk about it has inspired me to tell you guys my story as well on my worst group project ever. On top of that, I've done story time videos in the past on my channel before, so let's go ahead and get started. You probably need some popcorn and soda for this. So this was in a web design class. Due to privacy reasons, I will not say the name of that class, but it is about learning how to do JavaScript. Long story short, JavaScript is about making interactions for a web page or making something happen. So the instructor assigned the final project for this class and it was to design a web page that's supposed to be helpful for the user and most of the work must be JavaScript. HTML and CSS must be used obviously to sort out the page and make it look fancy. But JavaScript is the main attraction for the project. However, that final project was a group project. I was put into a group containing three people. I'm going to call them by their fake names. The first person was Hector. The second person was Bethany. Last but not least, the third person was Ray. The project was due for a while, so that's plenty of time. After we got in our groups, we were given a group assignment to do together, and we have a week to do it. The assignment was called Team Project Ideation, Prototyping, and Planning. Yeesh, that's a long title. First part, we are asked to introduce ourselves, like, we are a group floor and we are blah 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 blah, we found ways of contacting each other, blah 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 blah. Then there's ideation, where a mind map has to be created and at least five ideation questions must be made and answered. Then there's prototyping, where sketches are made to show what our web page would look like and have a list of questions about them. Lastly, there's the planning thing, where we talk about some plans on a possible project and some other crap. Our instructor gave us some class time to get started on the assignment before we leave. So I sat with my group, I shared a Google Doc with my new team members where we can all work on the assignment together, and I made sure to enable it to allow them to work on the doc. Hector made a private group chat for us so that we can send each other ideas and screenshots and other things too. And I remember thinking to myself, hey, that's a great idea. Some contact is exchanged and if necessary we can even contact each other in that private group chat. I started working on the mind map drawing for the ideation part of the assignment. My team members saw the Google Doc I sent them. However, as I was working, I looked over and saw that Hector and Bethany were on their social medias instead of working on the ideation assignment. I remember thinking to myself, okay, shouldn't we all work on the assignment together? And as for Ray, she did the same thing multiple times, but there were a few moments where she stopped and actually did offer me some ideas for the mind map. For example, she went, hey, maybe you can include something about traveling or maybe about music. And I was like, okay, I'll write that down. Fast forward to the end of class. I got the mind map done and I told my team, all right, guys, I'll put this mind map in the group chat so you guys can have a look at it. I will also put it in the Google Doc I shared you and we can work on this Google Doc together at home or something like that. And Hector went, all right, thanks. Bethany and Ray were like, sure. I went home thinking, all right, this won't be so bad. Little did I knew at the time, it's going to be really bad later on. I got home, sat down, added some things in the Google Doc, and then I took a break and I was like, okay, I'll let my team members put in some other work. Fast forward to Friday, nothing happened. No one added any of their work to the doc. I remember thinking, okay, maybe they were busy with other classes. Fast forward to Sunday, still nothing happened and I started to get really anxious and I thought, what's going on here? Why is no one working on this? I started to take matters into my own hands and started working on the assignment more by myself because no one's working on it. I even did the prototyping sketches myself and I sent them to the group chat. I even resent them the link to the Google Doc in case anyone missed it. No response from anyone. Next day on Monday, I checked the Google Doc and I started panicking. Still no signs of anyone working on this gosh dang assignment. I panicked and continued working on the assignment myself since I want it done before the due date. At the same time, I was really hoping these people would work on it with me since it is a group assignment. There is a reason I shared this Google Doc with them. I even sent them a message saying something like, Hey, is everything okay? The assignment is due Wednesday at midnight and I'm hoping we can all work on it together. And guess what? Still no response. No one responded to any of my messages still. Zero communication. Tuesday, the day before the assignment is due, nothing was happening and I finally had enough. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. I can't take any more of this bullcrappage, procrastinating behavior from anybody anymore. I'll do the rest of the assignment myself and I'll turn it in myself whether they like it or not. 
The rest of the assignment that day took me over an hour to finish. As I was finishing up, I emailed the instructor about what happened. He responded and thanked me for letting him know about what's going on. He said he will talk about team challenges in class, and he asked me who the other group members are in my team. I told him their names, and that was it. I turned in the ideation assignment before the due date. It felt rushed due to obvious reasons, but I still passed that assignment, though. At the beginning of next class, the instructor did a little lecture about team challenges, and honestly, I don't remember much of what he said, but I do remember him saying something like this. If you have members in your group who are not doing anything, don't let them drag you down. Just continue on with the project. It makes sense, but it's worse when everyone but one person isn't doing jack crap. I remember thinking to myself, please let me be in another group. I can't trust these guys anymore. My team members didn't say a word on why they didn't bother with that team assignment. They just continued on like nothing ever happened. Long story short, because time was of the essence, I convinced my team members to have our final webpage be related to traveling. We even went up to our instructor and he approved the idea and he provided some ideas that could go into our final web page. Soon the class was introduced to an application called GitHub. It's a long story of what that application is, but it's an application that allows collaboration and some coding and other things too. This allows us to work on the final web page together whether we are in class or at home, which is awesome. You may be thinking, well Joanne, did your team members finally start working on the web page together with you since it is a group assignment? Well, unfortunately, no. I ended up doing everything for them. I did the whole final web page myself. Like with the ideation assignment, no one bothered with working on that web page. Although, towards the end of this project, Hector did try to add something to the web page, but nothing happened. Anyways, back to the main story. At one point, we were given class time to work on the final project together, and I was just working away, and when I looked over, I could see that my group members are seeing the work I've made in the final project on GitHub, but I didn't see anyone attempt to work on this project. In some moments during that class time, I would just see them just stare blankly into their computer screens doing nothing. You may be wondering, what did they do that was actually useful? All they did was provide ideas for the webpage, and Hector did a few note-taking. That's it. Hector and Bethany went, hey, we can have the website be just one page. Ray went, Hey, how about we add some music to it? I continued working on the final web page for them. Then at some point after finishing a class, I got my butt over to the library and worked on the project on one of the computers. However, I ended up working in that building for almost three excruciating hours. And why? Because I ran into a problem where I tried to get something to work on the web page, but nothing was happening. I managed to fix it, though. I've sent screenshots of the progress to my team members in the group chat and just like before, no response. However, one of my group members managed to finally send a message in the group chat after a long silence. It was Ray, but all she posted was a link to an assignment where it talks about API. I checked it out, and long story short, the article was confusing, and I had no time to figure it out due to the deadline approaching, and I had other assignments to work on as well. Fast forward to the day before the project was due. I worked on the project at home and that took two hours. However, I ran into another problem where I couldn't get something else to work. And after trying and trying and trying, nothing was working, so I had to work my way around it somehow. I swear this assignment was driving me bananas. Long story short, I finished the web page and I turned it in. However, there were two more assignments, the final report and the presentation. Both assignments aren't long like the ideation assignment, thankfully. However, I ended up doing the final report myself because I don't trust my team members after what happened. The final report was turned in along with the presentation slides. Fast forward to the next day, which is the last day, aka presentation day. My group and I were the last ones to present. Minutes before class started, Hector asked me, Hey Joanne, did you turn in the final report? And I went, yes. And he went, oh cool, thank you. And I went, no problem, with a smile. But inside my mind, I was like, you guys should have helped with this. At one point, I was secretly clenching one of my fists. Despite all the pain and suffering, everything else went better than I expected. The presentation went well, the instructor liked the final web page, and the other students liked it too. I ended up getting an A- on the final project, and as for my final grade in the class, I passed with an A- as well. So, to sum up what everyone including myself did in the group project, Hector talked about ideas, did parts of the slides in the final presentation, did a few note-taking, Try to add stuff to the web page but failed. Bethany talked about ideas. Ray talked about ideas. Provided a link to a website that is not helpful at all. 
Me. Wrote the whole ideation assignment, did more note taking, did the whole final web page myself, did the whole final report myself, and finished the rest of the slides in the final presentation. This is pretty much the mother of all crappy things that can happen in a group project, when you are forced to do all the work yourself. To this day, I have no idea why these people did this to me. Maybe they can't stand any more hard work and wanted someone else to do all the work for them. It's still a mystery. I never heard from these guys again. I don't know if they passed the class or not, but either way, I'm glad I'm not teaming up with them ever again. And that's the end of the story. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.